How about it y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. Uh, you got brought into a very interesting video, something that we never hope to record, uh, but it's here. Uh, this is going to be a lesson for us and as well as all of YouTube, hopefully, as we try to com combat what's going on here at the farm. So in our last video, I said that well, I talked to a, a vet and uh, to look into some situations that are happening here at the farm. And also in our last video, we had a doe that uh, kitted about three weeks too early to a stillborn baby. And after that, I got pretty concerned uh, after seeing some things that has happened over the, the past couple months that I really haven't shared 100% with y'all. Um, but we're going to go all into that today. But yesterday afternoon, I had another doe have a uh, stillborn baby. And at that point, I got pretty concerned. So I, I called around uh, talking to vets and I was hoping to send off a fetus to get uh a autopsy done essentially to see what's going on. Unfortunately, I didn't know when the fetus was dropped, so the timing is very sensitive in doing that. Um, but I did get in touch with our state livestock vet this morning, and I talked to her for a while about some possibilities of what's happening uh, here at the farm. Uh, before I get into what she said, I'm gonna back up and we're gonna talk about what's kind of been happening over the past few months. Uh, so some of y'all might remember probably about two, two and a half months ago, we had a doe that was about two months bred. Uh, I was walking across the pasture and I found a fetus in the middle of the pasture. I looked around, there was only one doe with uh, any kind of discharge on her rear end. So I, I assumed it was her, um, almost positive it was her. Uh, so I actually sold that doe last weekend uh, to some people that are actually going to eat it. Uh, so I'm not really concerned about passing on anything to any herds, uh, but I didn't really think too much of it. She was a young doe. Uh, it was the first time being bred, and I just kind of passed it up to bad luck. Uh, fast forward about a month later, um, in our previous video, I said there was a crazy, the crazy brown goat. Uh, that one actually had a little discharge on its rear end. I walked the pasture. I never found any kind of fetus or anything like that. Uh, so I just thought she just had some drainage and, and that was it. And looking back, I should have, you know, did something then or kind of got a little more curious then. Uh, but we're gonna fast forward to about a week and a half ago when we gave all our does um, our CD and T vaccine. I actually, actually, after we finished giving the CD and T vaccine, I kind of hung out with some friends for about an hour or so. And then um, I went back up there to feed them and one of the does had some red red discharge, kind of looks like afterbirth out of her. Um, I walked around the pasture. I didn't see any kind of fetus or anything like that. And uh, and I thought maybe, man, we're just having some real bad luck this year. But I, in my back of my mind, I knew something was wrong. And then the other day, whenever that doe uh, kitted and had a, a stillborn baby, I knew this is this is more than just chances. I know I've got bad luck, uh, but uh, this is just more than that. Uh, this, there's actually something going on. Uh, so today, my conversation with the state vet uh, was through, or the state vet it works for Clemson Extension or Clemson. Um, our local land grant university, uh, but uh, after after talking to her for a little while, um, we really don't know what's exactly happening. Uh, there's several things that have a lot of the same symptoms, uh, pretty much the same treatments, and uh, we're gonna go forward with what she kind of recommended. We'll kind of go over a couple things that she thought it could possibly be and uh we really don't know what it is if i if i can actually see a fetus being born i will i will grab that and take it to the lab it costs 90 dollars to, to get the autopsy done and hopefully we can figure out what's going on uh, but being that i work and i'm off the farm um, majority of the day most of the days i don't know if i'm gonna be able to catch it in time so the vet actually said there's possibly a few things it could actually be and a lot of them carry the same symptoms um, all the goats look healthy and that's typical of all these uh, diseases. Uh, they look healthy. The only signs is abortion and late term pregnancy, uh, stillborns and weak kids. But we're going to kind of go through a few of them, what she thought they could possibly be. 
Uh, first one being tax. I can't pronounce half of this stuff. I'm not an English major, um, but we're going to try to get through it without butchering it too much. Uh, taxoplasmosis is the first thing she said. Um, she asked if there's any cats around. Uh, cats carry this in the manure and they get it from eating uh, raw meat essentially uh, through mice, rats, birds, any kind of raw meat they come in contact with. Uh, but basically they'd, they'd use the bathroom in your pasture or on top of your hay or in your feed and it can be transmitted that way. Um, I don't think that's it. We don't have a ton of stray cats. I see a cat every once in a while. Um, other than that, my hay is kept into in a 18 wheeler trailer where it's shut up. My feet are in either in bags or in the barrels. Uh, so I really don't think that's it. Uh, but this is, this is the disease why um, pregnant women can't eat deer meat. Uh, potentially a deer can pick this up. Uh, but on down the list, uh, she said Q fever, and it, it carries the same symptoms. Uh, it's picked up from another goat, I think. Uh, there's no signs but abortion, um, and it can survive for many years in the herd, unfortunately. The other one is Campylobacteriosis or something like that. I'm sorry. I cannot pronounce that one. But um, it's kind of the same thing. Some other ones is chlamydia. A lot of the same kind of symptoms as far as the abortion, late-term abortion, stillborn and weakness kids, and fibrosis uh, is kind of the similar. Um, in my mind, I really think we have chlamydia in the herd. Um, everything I've read um, from signs, uh, from just kind of what's going on, I really think it's either chlamydia is my number one I'm leaning to, or toxoplasmosis if a cat uh, had feces in the pasture. Um, but the only thing that has changed on our farm in the past year, uh, since we had kids last year, is I brought in Clyde. Uh, I'm not blaming this on Clyde at all. I'm not blaming on the breeders at all. Um, but just trying to pinpoint what's going on, in my mind, that's the only thing that has changed other than uh, adding a little more nutrition to the herd this year. Um, but I don't, from everything I've taught, from everything I've read and everything that doctor said, um, I just don't think that's the case. Uh, but going forward, um, Starting today, actually what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna be giving antibiotics to the whole herd. Uh, I've got, she suggested LA-200, uh, which I had some of, or Biomycin. Biomycin uh, it's basically a generic brand of LA-200. It doesn't sting them as bad whenever you give them the shot. She suggested to do SOQ, um, four and a half to five cc's per 100 pound weight. Uh, so today we're actually going to set up the chute, uh, bring all the does down to the barn, and we're going to hit them with this antibiotic today. And then four days later, we're going to do it again. Uh, hopefully this will kind of kill the bacteria. I forgot to mention that. All these uh, things I've talked to you about is a bacteria, um, whether they picked it up from here or there. Um, it, it is a bacteria. That's what's basically attacking, from what I've read, is attacking the placenta and basically the doe is just trying to shed that um, through abortion or stillborns or anything like that. Somehow the fetus got compromised by it. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and hit them with antibiotics. Uh, unfortunately, looking like we've already had five does affected by this and hopefully we're gonna save the other uh, 21 does uh, that have not kitted yet, that have not, knock on wood, aborted yet. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if this is going to save our kid crop. We still have the chances of having stillborn kids or very weak kids or even some more abortions in the next couple weeks. We have about two weeks until the kids are supposed to hit the ground. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit them with this. And uh, four days later, we're gonna hit them with it again. And hopefully we can get some kids on the ground, get some live kids on the ground. Um, hopefully they're not all weak. Um, hopefully um, this can uh, turn out better than what it's looking like right now. 
Um, it's, it's been a long day thinking about this, sitting at the office wanting to get home to take care of these goats. Um, but um, we're gonna we're gonna get it done now and we're gonna do all we can and uh, going forward um, we got some decision making to make I'm waiting on a call back from my local vet and uh, I've got a, a list of questions to ask him um, but we're gonna get into that later in the video if not another video um, but I'm gonna go set up the shoot real quick uh, we're gonna get the shoot where the scale out uh, I don't know if I'll be using the scale. I'm just going to dose them, honestly, pretty heavy each. Um, she, you know, she said four and a half cc's per hundred weight. She suggested go ahead and do five. Uh, so we might do, dose them a little heavier than what um, the label calls for under her recommendations, of course. Uh, we're going to be using a half inch um, 20 gauge needle on a syringe. I uh, was going to use the automatic syringe gun, but I'm not going to go there today. Um, we're gonna go ahead and measure it out pretty accurately and each of them is gonna get their own dose uh, But this is gonna go sub Q right under the skin and uh, We're gonna work them through get them all done if we got some left I'm probably gonna go ahead and and hit my um, my buck Clyde uh, She didn't say anything about hitting the buck with antibiotics and she said I didn't have to hit the dose that have already kitted or already aborted um, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and to because whatever's in this in this herd right now, I want to get rid of if possible. Um, if it's chlamydia or some other things, I'm gonna have to work with my local vet um, whether you know we can permanently get it out of the herd. Um, but until then, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak out on that because I really don't know the protocol of it. Uh, so let's uh, get the goats down here, get them run through the chute. I don't know how much I'm gonna film of it. I don't have my my little tripod today, I actually have my camera sitting up on something on the top of the bar. Um, but got a lot of work to do this afternoon. I'm by myself. Um, it's going to be a long afternoon, but we're going to we're going to get this done today. I appreciate you hanging out and um, listening to me talk. I just want to get you caught up on what's going on here. I want to be as honest as possible. I want to share my experiences so it'll help somebody else. Because trust me, you don't want to be in the position that I'm in right now. It sucks pretty bad, but... Uh, we're gonna get busy. I'm gonna share a couple clips of working with them, and then I'll catch up when catch up with you when we get done, and we'll talk about how, how everything went and uh, what's the next step for us. Okay, so I've got my herd of does down here in the in the catch pen uh, where I've got my little chute set up. Uh, it's pretty muddy down here. Still muddy from our butcher steer where he stomped around in here and all the rain we've been having. Uh, but several of these does that I was talking about that's uh, kind of aborted already. Uh, this is the doe right here that had the uh, miscarriage last weekend, uh, probably about four days ago now, four or five days ago now. Uh, let me see if I can find some more. Uh, this Savannah doe right here, you can see she still has a little discharge hanging off of her. Off of her. Uh, it's not inside her, it's just still attached. I'm, just, I'm gonna pull that um, off whenever she goes through the suit, shoot. Uh, this little red-headed doe right here, uh, she is the one that did it right after the CD and T vaccine. And uh, the other one that we have still on the farm, the other one got sold. Uh, but this one right here, the craziest of them all, uh, she is the one that had the discharge in the pasture at about three months of pregnancy. Uh, so she's in the chute now because I had to catch her by hand because... She's a troublemaker. Took me forever to get them all down here to shoot. Oh, uh, but essentially they're hanging out in here. I'll run them through this little chute right here. They'll go into our scale. I'm not gonna weigh them. I'm just gonna dose them all about the same except for some of these real small ones. Uh, we'll dose them a little bit different, a little bit less. And then after that, I'll open this gate and uh, she'll go out in this little pen for a second until Oh, we're ready to move them back up front. Uh, but like I said, I don't have my camera holder on me. Uh, so I don't know how much of this I'm going to get filmed. I've got my syringe and my needle. Antibiotic ready to make it made up. We're just going to go right under the skin. Uh, squirt this out. And uh, send them on their All way. Alright, so I gave everybody antibiotic. Including Clyde. And the ones that uh, have already miscarried. I just want to kind of cl clear up everything I can. Uh, if possible um, we're going to keep you updated as the situation goes on i'm going to bring you back with me on saturday morning today is tuesday 
So four days later will be Saturday morning. Uh, we'll be doing this again. And I'm gonna try to see if I can get some help so it'll go a little smoother. And uh, also I can do some recording and show you exactly what we're doing. But essentially we just ran them through the sh uh, chute and gave them one shot each and turned them out. I'm gonna leave them back here in this back pasture. Uh, so it's a little easier to catch them on uh, Saturday morning. And uh, Clyde's back over here in his man cave. He did have access to that whole pasture, but he's gonna be locked up there for a couple of days. Uh, but it's a weird situation what's going on. I uh, don't know how it's gonna turn out. I think we're gonna be expecting some uh, some more stillbirths and some weak kids and probably some more abortions. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, the vet, local vet still hasn't called me back yet. I'm gonna see if I can get in touch with him this afternoon or tomorrow. Uh, so maybe I have a little more information. I'm definitely gonna be doing some more research from time from here to there. So uh, maybe we'll have something else to fill you in on. But I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I'm sorry. Uh, the video's kind of gloomy, uh, but this is part of it. Um, this is something that we were bound to deal with at some point or another. Uh, but hopefully it's something that can clear up and we don't have to deal with it anymore. But I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and I will see y'all on the next one.